Look at the front where it says Ames real big. So out in our travels today, out in Redding, PA, we were heading over to Bojangles. You may have seen that video. And we talked about this Pizza Hut that we saw that was really unique. And that's it there. And I wanted to check it out and do a video for you guys. So there it is. And this is one of the goofiest, lo like the goofiest locations I've ever seen. So let's check it out. You know, at first I wasn't even sure if it was a Pizza Hut until I saw the windows. And I had seen the sign, the signless sign there. And I wasn't sure. Car, cheating the red light. And I wasn't sure if it was actually a Pizza Hut or not, but I'm like, it has to be. Look at those windows. And then we found out it was. So let's check that out. It's seen better days, obviously. I mean, the roof is falling apart on it. And we'll look through the windows here in just a moment. But the dead giveaway, it was a Pizza Hut. Here. Here. Pizza Hut is temporarily closed. Uh, no, I'd say more like permanently. Look at that. It's a bomb in there. A bomb went off. My God, look at the toys in these machines here. Look at that. Those old stickers and tattoos and those like bouncy balls. <laughs> Yikes. It's definitely seen better days. Big time. Pizza Hut. $10 dinner box. I wonder when this one closed. Do you know? Are you familiar with this? Now let's take a look through these windows here into the dining room. It's like a, it's a train wreck in here. Look at that. There's still Diet Pepsi and Sierra Mist in there. Completely unopened. I don't know how old they are, but wow. It's like it's a total train wreck in this place. And look at the quarter machines there with little toys and gumballs and stuff. I wouldn't be so surprised there's still quarters in those machines, too. Wow. What a mess. And that Taco Bell that we saw next door to the Bojangles that became a hibachi place, this is where it relocated to that building there. Wow, we. Look at all the pizza boxes still here. They go all the way up to the ceiling here on, on the left side of the screen. Wow. What a mess. Let's take a look through one of the windows down here. They're all filthy, so there's really nothing I could do about that. My God. What a disaster. And... They cut the grass here. I don't know whose property this is. Obviously, that shed's abandoned, too. I don't know if that's Pizza Hut's property or not, but I don't want to go too far on it. But here's another window here, and there's a door there. Take a look through this window here. Can't really see much there because they're so dirty. There's really nothing to see in there anyway in that little shed. So, unfortunately, nope, let's go around, we'll just go all the way around the building here, because this was a unique shaped one, that's for sure. I'm not going to go through there, I'll just go around here out onto the pavement. Car lot, is that a Nissan Skyline? That looks like it. <laughs> I still wouldn't buy a Nissan. Oh, look, here's the signage here. Check that out, guys. Pizza Hut. Look how long this is. This one here, if I had to make a guess, it's probably about 15 feet long. 12 to 15 feet long, easily. And then the big square signs here. 
Yeah, somewhere in the Freddy Krueger shoes, by the way. But these big long ones, or this big square rectangular one, it's probably about the size of a king mattress. Cool. That's, that's, you know, I wish I'd be allowed to take one of these home if I had the room for it. I would probably take the long one, you know, obviously only if I was allowed to do so, but I would also need to get a big truck to be able to do that. What's in here? Anything? Cinnabon. Just light bulbs. The little sign. That sign holder there would be for the letters to advertise, like, what's any specials they have. There's all kinds of paperwork in there. I'm not going to go through all those. That's cool, though. That looks like a cooler. What a mess. Got the bee friend today. This trip that we took out here, we gave our Z24 a much needed break. And for some reason, I guess people haven't seen, not everybody had seen our video that Nate gave us the bee. Nate literally gifted us his infamous bee friend. And we are keeping both cars. We're keeping the bee friend and the Z24, but it's just nice to travel in the new car. Have fun with the new ride and give the Z24 some much needed time off because she's been our daily driver and has taken us to half of the country to like 22 something states. So we definitely want to give her a break. But yeah, that's your Pizza Hut here in Reading. And wow, it was unique. It's not like the traditional Pizza Huts that I have done videos at many of. This one was cool. All right, so I'm heading back to the bee friend because we're going to go over to the Boskovs now, which is at this mall right up the road here and just check it out. Kayla didn't really feel like being on camera, so that's okay. I can't, I can respect that. Sometimes she feels like it, sometimes she doesn't, you know, it's whatever she feels like. But I hope you enjoy that. That was a cool one to check out. I like that. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And if you're not a subscriber, you know what to do too. Subscribe. And with that said, everybody, take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a Pizza Hut-licious day. We'll see you later. Bye.